Pokemon Meme Review! Leave your entries in the subreddit, Pokefans. And now watch the show in the next episode, as put a pie. Greetings, please, friends! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of Ask Pit a Pie. At some point in the past, I asked you my monthly series where I react to submissions on my subreddit, r slash mnjtv, and since most of those submissions are memes, the alternate name for this series is Pokemon Meme Review. Two quick things I want to cover before we dive into the memes. The first is Happy Pride Yay! Month to all of you in the LGBT community. I myself am not gay, but my girlfriend is. She's she's by. And secondly, I gotta talk about the merch. At mnjtvmerch.com, I am selling this super awesome mighty desk mat. I'm so excited about this. And I really want you guys to just buy all of them so I can actually start using it under my keyboard. <laughs> because <laughs> I haven't been able to use it because I have to lift it up for video promotion. And of course, there's the Team Sky apparel. The Team Sky hoodie with the embossed Team Sky uh, is actually already on back order. Uh, so that was pretty popular. Thank you to those of you who have already bought it. And if you want to get the joggers, uh, you, you still can, but they might go on back order too. They're a matching set, very stylish. You can get all three of these things at mnjtvmerch.com, linked in the description and up there. But now, Let's dive into the memes. We'll start on the subreddit and then move to the curated slideshow. Top in the past month. Solve the message. Katie deserves a raise. She does, doesn't she? Or a bonus of some kind. I do those at the end of the year. People saying a billion lions would win against one of every Pokemon. People who know you can just use Earthquake to kill them all at once. <laughs> Wait, is this two memes in a row about lions? This person says you only need two Pokemon. Just make sure not to break too much of their bones. I will take all on the left, you go for the right. Oh yeah, because Macargo just incinerates them. <laughs> and Arceus is God. Sending a pipe bomb to, oh no. BRB gonna play Pokemon Legends Arceus for the 70th time. Oh, Arceus remembers the protagonist in Legends Arceus. Oh, they're old. Oh. Team Sky Pokemon requirements. Ooh. I will evaluate. Flying type, immediately qualified. Can have the levitate ability, immediately qualified. Can learn fly, sure. Eventual flying type, yes. Eventually levitate, sure. Eventually learn fly, yes. Flying Terra type, maybe. Mightyena, yes. <laughs> Legendary Pokemon after breaking out of an Ultra Ball. Did you actually expect that to work? Kinda. Me after mashing B and looking nonchalantly away from the screen. <laughs> you just gotta do this and then just like, I don't care. I don't care what happens. I'm gonna look back and it's gonna be caught. Look at that. More billion lions Pokemon stuff. The lions are screwed. The lions could be holding a focus sash. <laughs> Oranguru could just use instruct. The Pokemon can't hit every lion on their turn. They could just use multi-target moves. This... <laughs> I will officially provide my opinion. You would not need one of every Pokemon to beat a billion lions. Steelix is as hard as diamond. The lions literally, like Steelix could take a nap. And the lions could do nothing. The scene is showing five boys walking down a set of railroad tracks. The scene is showing four boys walking down a set of railroad tracks. Oh no. <laughs> but it's like, it's like a reference to a real movie. I don't know why it goes from five to four though. I've never seen the movie. Reggie P. Great. Maybe now. Wow, fantastic spelling of my name. I adore that. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm i never going to find Drowsy attractive. Who is this person? A, MNJTV, B, Grunty Boy, C, Mikey, Team Sky Leader, D, Dr. Fuse. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell because I can't see my hat or lack thereof. I can't believe this. Being quizzed on myself. I'm gonna say, I feel like it's not regular me. I feel like it's not Grunty Boy, just, did a sample size. The amount of times Grunty Boy has been sitting here is small. I'm gonna say it's Dr. Fuse. Is there an answer somewhere? Oh, Dr. Fuse is eliminated due to him wearing goggles. Wait, the correct answer is Grunty Boy? Dang it! Haha! -ha! It is I, Grunty Boy! And dude, we got the most on brand sponsor we have ever had! Is it friendship? Cute and heartwarming, but no. The sponsor is actually the Pokemon Company International! What? That's crazy! Are they finally letting Cast Worm evolve? Still no. We're talking about Pokemon Unite! The Eevee Festival is happening now, making Umbreon and Leafeon available in the game, which is free to play on iOS, Android, and Nintendo Switch. Eevee appeal o -Rama has started as well, a quick battle mode where all players must play as Eevee or one of its evolutions with wild Eevee all over the map. 
Playing this mode allows trainers to obtain prizes like Unite license puzzle pieces for Sylveon, Glaceon, and Espeon, which can be used to unlock their licenses. Sounds super fun. I'll be playing it EV Day. Genius! And of course we can't forget new checkered style holoware for the EV evolutions, now available in the game. Click the link in the description below to get Pokemon Unite today! Free to start on Android, iOS, and Nintendo Switch. Looks like you and I will need to squat up. I'm assuming you'll be playing as Umbreon? Are you kidding? My aesthetic is clearly Sylveon. Ta-ta! Before the next meme is revealed, this is an official warning to you that this meme and later memes in this video will include spoilers <laughs> for the most recent episode of Team Sky over on m TV Plays, which you should subscribe to. Once I hit a million, I do a solo mill tank playthrough. Ha ha, point and laugh. So if you don't want to be spoiled for some major plot events that happened in that video, you should go watch it first and then return to this one. Okay, I've given you a chance to do that. Now to the now to the meme. Team Night Sky choosing their mascot Pokemon between Galarian Moltres and Yaveltel. Personally, uh, it, it was gonna be Shiny Rayquaza, but it was uh, at the time of recording, it was uh, stuck in home. I mean, at home. It, it was fine. It was fine. Shiny Charizard worked. They say ninety percent of people find love here. You must be the ten percent. Damn! <laughs> Guys, I can explain. You're useful in three weather types, while well, I'm only useful in two. Two, I'm only useful in one type of weather. You guys are useful in weather? Oh, poor gas form. Wait, Heliolisk is good in three weathers? Oh, it's got dry skin, sand veil, or solar power. Dry skin makes the most sense though, because it's an electric type. Thunder in the rain. So, Dr. Fusen all day and night. Ooh, a crossover. What brings an esteemed scientist such as yourself to my headquarters? I've come to propose a collaboration. Your team Sky only allows Pokemon of the flying nature, yes? Why limit yourself to only regular flying Pokemon when you could fuse? Even Pokemon such as Diglett could become creatures of the sky. Why would I want to fuse the beautiful creatures of the sky with wretched creatures of the land? <laughs> I see you're not convinced. Behold, it's a deal. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, Lux Flame is huge. <laughs> I loved this comic. Thank you, Mew in the flesh. Me thinking of replaying Pokemon Scarlet. You remembering that the stupid psychic gym challenge exists? <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like, it's like Guitar Hero, but really easy. This is Bill. Bill doesn't post drowsy memes. He also spells Mikey, Mikey correctly. Be like Bill. No, no, don't post this. You're only encouraging them. Decidueye says, could you stop nicknaming me Robin Hood slash Hoot for five minutes? We also need to add, um, Owliver Queen, that's one I've seen a lot. I feel like I might have also seen the green air owl. I am unique. Uh, I, I named mine Sammy, because that is the name of the Rice University mascot, which is an owl, and also where I went to school. Please tell me I'm cool. Black and white remakes, Pokemon Legends Victini. Yeah, uh, if ILCA makes another BDSP style remake, I have to play it. Pokemon's my job, but I'm gonna be really upset. But another Legends game, I will dance. I'm the best Pokemon mobile game. No, I am. Home's not really a game. Wait, amateurs? What was that, punk? Amateurs? Pokemon Shuffle? Never played it. There's also another spinoff at one point on like the DS called like Troze. Sorry, but Beware did it before Coridon, Maridon, and Cyclozar? What? Oh, this is quite the callback. This is not an episode of Pokemon Talk that gets referenced very often. I'm impressed. If those of you watching haven't seen this episode, uh, the Litten was very German and angry, so he said nine nine a lot. Nine 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 nine. Show me any team of six, and I'll show you why it can be in Team Sky. The hood is a parachute, sure. <laughs> uh, Roaring Moon, yeah, the thing already flies. Mouth-shaped hair wings. I I'd like to see it get off the ground. Ghosts float. That one doesn't. Ass wings. <laughs> okay, that. That was pretty good. And Gliscor, yeah, it's a it's a flying type. Gliscor's been in Team Sky. Pokemon versus Lions, Guzzlord POV. Yeah, the Lions would not win. Dr. Fuse. Human Pokemon fusions are very difficult and dangerous. Chances are it'll fail and or you die. But what are the chances Skydios and I make the most alive and awesome flying fusion ever? About 0.0013%. 50% you say? I like those odds. It doesn't even say the phrase. It just goes right to it. Oh. Saxolotl, you genius. I like your blind trust in me. Let's do it. As a fusion expert, I know this process inside and out. With this DNA splicer, I can see the silhouette. Huh. 
Huh? It's supposed to show the fusion silhouette. It's acting like that man's a fusion already. Strange. Hi. Unfuse! Um, What's happening? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Akus! <laughs> Dr. Fuse's log. It seems this is some normal people here are actually fusions of the same man and something else. The Rayquaza forced me to return my main test subject to normal, but my research is not over. Who is this common host? How are these fusion people coming to be? And why Why do I share some physical traits with them? <laughs> I, oh, I love the, I love the idea that all my various characters are just me being possessed by spirits? <laughs> Drawing every Pokemon in Wooper form? That is excellent. They are adorable. I can't decide which one my favorite is, but I feel like it's that. Gosh, I don't know. They're all so good. I really like, I really like Caterpie. <laughs> 13 year old me when I caught my first Noibat back in X and Y. Only had no, no, no V for a day and a half, but if anything happened to him, I would kill everyone in the room and then myself. Nine years later, that's pretty cool. Only I could bring my shiny Firo into Scarlet and Violet. Ooh, Pokemon Origami, that's cool. Wow, that's really creative. Did you, did you come up with these? That's very impressive. You have artistic ability that I could only strive for and fine motor control. I have spindly hands. If this channel hits 1 million subs, I'll do a playthrough using only Miltank. Yes, if MJTV plays, like I said, hits a million subs. I'll do a playthrough only using Miltank. If this channel hits 3 million subs, I'm not making any promises. That is so far away. Uh, but you should also subscribe to this one. The hardest choice requires the strongest wills. Indeed. Feel free to praise me. Survey.net, Bulbapedia, Pokemon Database. They're all good at different things. Survey.net has the easiest way to navigate between a Pokemon's data for different generations. Bulbapedia has the best graphics for like type effectiveness and like trivia and name origin and the box at the top with a whole bunch of collection of like stats and stuff. And then Pokemon database is useful similarly, but I, I really like their stat graphs, you know, where it's like, oh, look, this one's green because it's good. And this one's red because it's bad. <laughs> Who would win one billion frogs or one of every kind of bird? The frogs. <laughs> They're just birds. They're not Pokemon with superpowers. <laughs> Like, even if there's like, like how many species of birds are there? There's only 10,000 birds. And that includes little chickadees. I love Team Sky. The birds would very much die. Now, if it was 1 billion frogs versus every flying type Pokemon, different story. I take big Pokemon and make it little. Doduno, <laughs> Minix, Lappy, Tropet. That's very cute. Is that, is that John's face? Put on to that Megamind character? There's no Easter Bunny, there's no Tooth Fairy, there's no Sandy Guest. That's horrifying. <laughs> Guess the Pokemon by its colors. Pikachu? Oh, literally all Mons that can fly. Macargo and Arceus, yeah. Akus, excuse me. Me when I see the older men in Pokemon games whenever I play it. Who are these extremely hot people? <laughs> it's over, Karaidon. I have the high ground. Underestimate my power. Is it really an entire Eater shorter? What? They look exactly the same size. People think Michael Verse started with Grunty Boy. Raccoon Man <laughs> and his sidekick Zigzagoon. Ah, the early days. Over a decade ago, which is a little, feels a little weird. Oh, Cole's handmade Pokemon. It's complete, fantastic. This is the, the shiny Mega Gengar is still my favorite. These are so cool. You guys are so talented. Charizard with two Megas and a Gigantamax. Pokemon fans. <clears throat> <laughs> Meowth with three regional forms, one regional evolution, and a Gigantamax. Technically two regional forms. The regular doesn't count. Slowpoke with two evolutions, a regional form, two regional evolutions, and a Mega. <laughs> Mighty! A Pokemon! <laughs> it looks like a Pokemon, but due to international copyright laws, it's not! <laughs> so true! All big and small. Oh, look at the little fan pee. It is big tusks. Unrelated friends. Related friends. Oh, I <laughs> like... I like the little masks they're wearing. This is adorable. Starter fake months for my Vietnamese Southeast Asia reason, region. I'm not very good at it, but I'll learn as I go. Ooh, I like them. Ooh, that parrot is sick. If it's a parrot, it looks like a parrot. I like that one too. And that one, I like all of those. I was playing Akinator and found this. Is your character a member of Team Sky? I don't know how this thing works. Like, I don't know how it pulls stuff from the internet, but like you can get me in it. And you could get me in it like a long time ago. Like I tried it like eight, nine years ago when I first heard about it and I was able to get myself. So I don't know how that thing works. It's a little creepy. Discovering something that doesn't exist. A shiny Volcanian, oh no. Has it really never been officially released? Joke it, I, I can explain. You had so many evolutions, I only get two. Goodbye. Two, I only get one. Dragon, you guys have all. <laughs> 
<laughs> the face is very funny. R slash team sky be like, yes, no. <laughs> there was a lot to cover in that video. I just, I never went and found the Garchomp, okay? I already had the Salamence, which Team Sky had never used yet. Now, before we move on to the slide show, I'm gonna browse the hot page. Pokemon Flash Black or Pokemon White Out, Pokemon Legends Curum, Pokemon Black 3, White 3, Pokemon Whack. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Kid me trying to read unknown. Adult. Mikey trying to read cursive. I figured it out. When you're finally at the Elite Four and need to delete all the unnecessary HMs, dive, rock smash, strength, fly cut. Oh, you get out. Except you, you stay. I kept fly also. My official application to join Team Sky is an admin. Accept it immediately. Fantastic. A mighty paramedic form. <gasps> it can heal and mend wounds slash bones. And also a Team Sky character. Fantastic. All right, so I'm ready to move on to the slideshow. Decent posts, LMAO. Happy Pride. Indeed. Happy Pride Month. Ads, browse fat gay Pikachu. <laughs> A pride Pokemon, fantastic. Nope, we got the video slash slides again. Oh, there is sound, it's it's just the, just combat music. Ooh, a Keys Sprite. That thing's called a Wizrobe, I have never learned its name. Octorock, these are really cool and good. Oh, Stone Talus looks really good. So does the Lionel, you got all its abs. That's awesome. Side note, I have played a preposterous amount of Tears of the Kingdom. I like didn't do my job for a week. You know how every villain leader has their own battle theme? Well, I made that. Since there was a grunt theme, I thought there needed to be a leader theme. Oh, so this is an interpretation of this being the theme for Team Sky's leader. Ah, essentially it's just another Team Sky theme. Because the first one, well, Team Sky really only technically has one, technically, one member. You're all honorary members, but I don't know how to battle you. The whistling. Oh, now it hits. Oh, this is four minutes long. <laughs> We're doing that's wow, you did the whole song. I'm gonna skip ahead. Cool. I, I'm so flattered that people are making music themes for my silly characters. That's awesome. After Pokemon Talk was canceled, they had to find another way to make money. Hi, I'm Bulbasaur and I'm Squirtle. Wait, no, and there's a Pokemon, ah! <laughs> uh, I knew some of you guys would appreciate that reference. All of the mighty forms I've made, mighty K form, <gasps> this may come as a shock to you, but that already exists! Ta-da! And it's on the desk mat, available at FNJTVMerch.com. I like how we both took inspiration from the the bat ears, though, but my the, the official one, is uh, super senses. So it's beyond just echolocation. It's got night vision and super hearing. The sky form, ooh. Unlocked by jumping high into the air. <laughs> Dragon form, <laughs> look at him. Blah. <laughs> a water form, ooh, it's a mermaid. That's so cool. I love mighty fan art. Build by the science guy. Build by. <laughs> <laughs> This is fantastic. <laughs> the slow-mo. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Crazy theory, what if Grunty Boy is Mikey's twin? We have the same body. It says he has the same body as Grunty Boy. Now that I look at it, they look pretty similar. Maybe they're identical twins. <laughs> wow, I never considered it before. My favorite reactions from Dr. Fuse. <laughs> the the god. <laughs> I could I still can't believe that's in the game. Or that. <laughs> that video was a lot of fun. Ooh, a comic! They suffer a really short line from Mikey and his Team Sky Platinum Run. Offers you an evil retirement plan and an extremely good evil workplace benefits. But do you offer evil dental? Of course! I said it was extremely good evil workplace benefits, and that is the bare minimum. All of my henchmen have dental. If some hero comes in and punches one of your teeth out while you're guarding my lair or any of its many nefarious secrets, I will ensure you get seen by one of the finest dentists money can buy. Excellent. I look forward to working with your evil team and being a part of your nefarious schemes and plots. Thank you. 
I'm conquering the sky. Oh, I see. This is where I, the comic came from. That's really funny. Noah is admiring the best evil team boss. <gasps> the best one. This one sucked. Oh, just putting it on the, I'm <laughs> putting it on a mood board. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mickey universe. Wait, what? This is just the Steven. Wait. Well, I don't understand. John, you're right. It's just, I was, the Steven Universe theme with me randomly yelling. <laughs> Ooh, mighty for some of Mikey's characters. <gasps> Grunty mighty. Sky mighty. Night sky mighty. Fantastic. Me when future Team Sky's Michael reveals himself. Oh! <laughs> you seen Team Sky's Michael loses to future Team Sky's Michael. <laughs> me listen to the Team Sky theme music at the final battle of later. <laughs> when manifest avoiding dragon rush. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you guys liked that. I worked really hard on it and Katie did too. I just, it's its a wonderful thing when I have fun making something. I feel like it's a really good final product. You guys feel like it's a really good final product. And then as a result, it gets a lot of views. <laughs> it's like both that and the Dr. Fuse playthrough just like checked all those boxes. its It was a good month on MJTV plays. Go mighty go. Copyright warning for the song. It's okay. We can swap it in in post. This is an animation. <laughs> That's so cute. He's just angrily break dancing. <laughs> I loved that. Trade offer. I receive a Greninja. You receive shiny drowsy. Katie. Indeed. I mean, well, her receiving Greninja was giving hers back to her. I did get a shiny. I'm not sure I wanted it though. Do a Mikey loves drowsy edit. Editor Katie, how dare you? Me when a new handbook comes out. <laughs> 10 year old when I got home after my school's book sale. Yep. Whenever Mikey actually uses logic and strategy to gain a point over John, while John simply goes with his butt. My mad scientist brain is tingling. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Fuse used Pokemon to himself. Ooh, kind of reminds me of Kevin from Ben 10. Kevin 11. Or like when he got really messed up. <laughs> this facial expression so compelled me I had to draw it. The, the Chinook in the background. <laughs> Show me the real scientist. <gasps> Dr. Fuse! Upgrade. Upgrade, go back. <laughs> Aw, and Kat has to wear the cone of shame. I turned on the fusion video to watch while I did a warm compress. She loves it and didn't even notice that I closed the door. Oh, the cat enjoyed my video. That's, that's so nice. Topaz, I hope you feel better soon. Finally, a war turtle. <laughs> Dr. Fuse might be my favorite character. Oh, Dr. Fuse looking fly as hell. Me when lose shiny, F. <laughs> An MJTV themed calendar. <gasps> Me observing fireworks for the new year. Me looking stylish and loving cast form while Drowsy cries in the corner. Ooh, very green for March, April. Me holding an egg, flower crown. In June, I'm getting on a plane. July, we're at the beach and John, look at John's confused about Sandy Guest. August, back to school. September, I'm a farmer. <laughs> October, the Chandelure, excellent. November, ooh, chilly. December is Christmas. This is so, this is so fun. Ooh, a Team Sky poem. Oh, Mikey woke up, yawned and slicked his hair back. Looked to his empty bed. A drowsy it didn't lack. All right. Emerald suit he slipped on, his eyes dragged to the floor. The sky is open for conquest. Hoenn deserves so much more. He left his house, the great blue to expand. How he loved Pokemon whose feet never land. He beckoned his great steed, Skydios the Beast. Magnazone shouldn't count, but it floats at least. <laughs> to his flying ship, his fortress in the sky. After months of work, materials run dry. His plan had succeeded, not gone awry. Mikey had done it. He'd expanded the sky. Oh, I love it. Chemical X, sugar, spice, everything nice. Oh, look at that, I made the Powerpuff Girls. A new Team Sky member. Ooh, he looks formidable. Corviknight, Decidueye, Shiny Swellow, Pelipper, and a Mega Latias. Fancy. My first drawing, a Texas kid. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Did the drowsy need to be there though? Whatever, I still accept it. Team Sky Mikey, taking over the world and becoming a dictator. Team Sky Mikey, becoming the protector of the sky. Go Team Sky! Team Night Sky Fan Arts, Katie filtering the post for the PowerPoint. Here it comes! <laughs> half Team Sky, half Team Night Sky. Look at this, what movie are they watching? Oh, they're all watching Barbie. <laughs> what, what is that thing? 
Pokemon I had my scientists create. The scientists, you two have fun now. <laughs> Ooh, it's inevitable spicy. I like the floating stuff. Fan art of Mew 3, fantastic. A cool sounding name that has special relevance to the Pokemon like every single other one in his team. Jet butt. <laughs> Ooh, a Team Night Sky logo. Ooh. I made it darker blue to represent the actual night sky. I didn't really like how the black variant turned out. I still decided to show it, of course, but it's not my favorite. Oh, I think it looks pretty cool. Ooh, Team Night Sky fan art. Spooky. I like the spikes on the hood. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet story. It's team Sky lore. There you go. I mean, y'all know the, y'all know. Y'all know the Scarlet Violet story. I gotta give you a new one. Infinite fusion. You three resting. Resting in power. That sounds like it died. It's just resting and it is powerful. Bidoof. <laughs> I just like that it's on a sticky note. Petition for Mikey to sing the drowsy Jack Black Peaches parody whenever he loses a Pokemon in the middle tank could possibly drowsy playthrough. Absolutely not. <laughs> Was that song impressive? Certainly. But I will maintain my begrudging resentment of the drowsy meme. I spent too long making the first two fusions. Ooh, Dr. Fuse, I want the real best Pokemon fusion. Inoran and Psyduck. So the real best Pokemon fusion. Glory. <laughs> I was, that was so good. It's just so funny that it looks like that and just still has the stats of Bidoof. <laughs> Hey, a custom team sky sprite. That looks really good. Me, Dr. Fuse. Whoa, is that Gliscor and Sceptile? That's sick. Is it ground grass or flying grass? Regardless, if I ever do a sequel, which let me know if I should, there is a post game. I have a delivery for John Michael Wingle, a bucket of green paint for Jet Butt. <gasps> Thank you, sir. Team Sky admin May and leader Mikey got arrested. <laughs> it's like the like the Barbie meme. <laughs> yes, Jet Butt painted a glorious green. The Fantastic Trio. Okay, no, the no Trio. Yes, fantastic. Only one of them is fantastic, and it's the one in the middle. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon meme review. I really appreciate it. Be sure to pick up some merch at mngtvmerch.com and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who help support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. You want to help support me the same way? Links below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans, gotta catch them all!